I don't think we're in trouble. I mean, uh, the, the medium is okay. I mean, we just have to uh, we just have to create more. Uh, we need puck. We need some rushes, and, and obviously, uh, I don't know, puck ball. I mean, uh, it seems that we we don't want somehow we can't get momentum at uh, the third there. Uh, like I said, I think Dijon was good. Uh, I, didn't, I don't think they got a lot of it, mm -hmm. but obviously, uh, if you want to win the win the hockey, you need the puck too. How do you get the puck? How do you, how do you do that? Well, it's too quick right now. I mean, uh, something we have to work on it, and uh, uh, just trying to do a better job with the next uh, next game. The power play was so good for the first five games, and uh, I, well, you that's can't really like, like I said, it to it's gonna that, be. Uh, you keep asking that question. If it's good, then we get one or two games. If it's not good, and then it's all of a sudden it's bad. So that's the way it works. It's not gonna be 82 games that we're gonna score every goal. I mean, uh, it's part of the game, and uh, and that's about it. Can you talk about your penalties? Did you feel like they were, they were legit? Uh, the, the first one, I, that's just uh, reacting, mm -hmm. uh, plotting shot and trying to get the, the guy out of the game. And uh, second one, not, I don't know, but I think he crapped my stick uh, yeah. at the end there. But it's part of the game, and it's, uh, I'm sure I'm not crying about it. I mean, uh, set part of the game and uh, happens, and, uh, but we got to learn from that, though. Play that important, and a penalty that important to the team. Should that be reviewable now? But put that in. And let's take a look and see if it actually was a blow to the head. That's an important penalty. Yeah, it, 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 and it is. It is a very important penalty. Um, no, I don't think it should be reviewable though. Uh, I think that, that, that puts I don't know too much too much in the hands. It takes too much away from the referee. I think. I think it just let them make the call, and then, you know, it, it is reviewed after that. If if there is view deemed by the league that there's there's no blow to the head, no lateral blindside hit, then they take away the game misconduct part of it, and and that's the way it goes. Terry, what did you do on a penalty kill tonight to, to stifle them and collapse? Um, well, our, we didn't do anything special. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the way our penalty kill has been going and the, and the structure we've been showing all year. We try to do a, a real good job up ice and kind of serpentine back through the neutral zone to, to put constant pressure on the puck. We wanted to take that puck out of the hands of Cullen. We know that they, they like him to bring the puck up the ice and if we can force it on the boards or force it away from him, then we read and pressure from there. You, you did kill off that five-minute major, which was huge. I mean, it seemed like you, you guys a lift and you... You really got better as a, from the night. Yeah, it was uh, it was huge. It was a great special team night for us. Power play came through. Penalty killing was outstanding. Uh, we had a great second period. I thought we started to get more of that shot mentality. We we had uh, incredible offensive zone play and continued on in the third period. And just you know we hung in there and and then in the in the shootout, the pressure is on again for Stoll to. You know, to continue on, and he makes a great shot for the shootout to continue. Can you point to anything special on the power play that really worked for you guys? For us, yeah. Um, sure. Okay, Mike. Um, nothing special. I mean, the part of that's that's been troubling for us is recovering some pucks and having more of a shot mentality. And I thought we we started to get to more of that tonight. And uh, when you get a five on three. I wish we did what, what we, on a five on four is what we do in a five on three, and it is an automatic shot. There is no hesitation on it. Things and then uh, uh, penalties again. I think uh, not the flow, you know, the flow and the tempo that we had building up through the first period uh, put us on our heels. They score a goal. And they, actually, the first few power plays, I thought we did a pretty good job. Penalty kills, I should say, uh, as far as killing the uh, their power play opportunities. But you can't keep giving a good team uh, opportunities. And uh, it's two-two game, chance to win it in the third. I thought we battled and played pretty hard in the third as far as defending. Uh, but we got to find ways to to create more opportunities. It, again, it seemed like you didn't have the puck a lot of the last second half of the game. What do you guys have to do to get the puck? Well. Uh, we turned it over again, I think, when we had the puck on our stick. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, at times we're getting too far away from the puck. We don't have that puck support that you need in the offensive zone or the neutral zone to create. Um, but again, I, you know, we go back to, to the Edmonton game and, and this game. I, I, I really believe that when you continually take penalties, and it's, a, it's a, basically a march to the penalty box, uh, it, it, it saps the energy. 
uh, out of the the guys that are penalty killers and guys that aren't uh, because they end up sp- sitting and, and spending too much time on the bench or the other guys are out on the ice and penalty killing is hard work and and we have to be better in that area of the game. Growing concern about your power play after going over four for the second game. I think the question is last week were how great the power play yeah. was, was it not? Yeah. Now all of a sudden is it a growing concern? There's no Changes concern. Changes fast. I, I told you guys that when you guys were talking about everything's the power play, power play, I said it, it won't last. Teams are too good, and uh, uh, they scout, and um, you know we generate some opportunities. We'd we'll probably like to have generated some more, but that's the way that this it, it works in this league. And you know, even you look at our, our penalty kill tonight, we give up two goals, but you know, really our, our penalty kill was pretty good. You, you know, we give up a five on three goal, um, and another one where uh, up to that point we we're doing a pretty good job penalty killing. So it's uh, it, it, power play specialty teams are, are streaky. Uh, how, do you, how do you control the, the penalties? I mean, seven penalties in the first two periods is uh, really way too many. That's something we'll have to talk about and try to figure out. Is is there a common denominator? It, it does seem like a lot of them are obstruction, not skating. Not skating. Yeah. Yep, you said it. Not you got to move your feet, and uh, if you're if you're reaching and and not getting to places, then you end up taking penalties. And there are some penalties that happen in a game that just kind of happen, and, and you know, having played and, and and been a part of it, you can accept those penalties. But you know the the, the penalties where you're reaching and, and hooking, and because you aren't moving your legs, those are those are the ones we got to deal with. Uh, how about Miko? Miko takes two of them, and again, it didn't seem like he had a lot of energy tonight. Yeah, I, again, I think it's uh, I, I liked our start. I think Mike Miko had good energy. I think after his uh, their first goal, he was he was emotionally into the game mm-hmm. because you could see it in his face. And uh, uh, but we can't as as a group we can't continually march to the march to the penalty box. Anything else for Todd? Thank you. Thanks.